Okay. What is up, boys and girls? It's your boy, Cass and Crow here back playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Last episode, uh, in Explorers of Sky. We had finished up the lower parts of Crystal Cave and, uh, actually stopped growing up from taking the last time here. So, after that, we did get knocked out, but we recovered. And got a big new support, I guess. With, uh, Dustin Moore about how he's gonna. or how he plans on getting gold out. And it's basically spreading rumors and him taking on gold along with some bait. That being a few legendaries that we've met so far. So, right now we're gonna be just. I guess. doing some jobs. For now. Nothing on Star One. There's nothing on Apple Woods. So as well this open that. This Apple Woods is so epic. You have to take someone, so of course you're gonna to have to eventually, not eventually, leave someone behind. Okay, A Wall can go home. I think A Wall is a little too strong for this part of the woods. Hello. Wow. How weak. Pathetic. Right. Oh, hey, oh. Oh boy. Fucking paralyzed, nice. You just paralyzed me, dude. Okay. Yay. Thank God. There is. How dare you. 245? No, go away. I don't want you on my team. I'll oh, be silly me to do that. Do something so dastardly. Nice. Growth? Oh, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, right. Hey, yo, there's the exit. That was just the second floor. There's the third floor. What? Oh, nice. Let's board. Don't need that. Oh, okay. Now we do. How did you miss? Hmm. Or yeah, let's really explore this area. This is big for Apple Woods. Alright, oh god. Use a scratch. There you go. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's needed for me to 
do this to show someone around a certain area, but I might as well do it, and I somehow fucking miss with Ember. Again. Go away. Nice. Or, I don't really care about that, like I said. Okay, I didn't want to do that, but fine. <sighs> right, here's part of me. I missed everything. And all I only was too. Thank you. Okay. Wheel against them. No. No. God damn it. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Normal speed, cool. Right behind this. Thank you. Again. Which damn exit? Uh. How the f What the fuck, dude? How the hell am I missing? Oh my god. Okay. Can't attack. Now I'm gonna get poisoned. Thank you. This is annoying. Oh hey, there's Butterfree. And it paralyzed me, cool. And confusion. Thank god. There's the exit. There's the exit. <laughs> How the fuck am I missing? Right. I think I'm trying to think I should just sell the boxes. Aren't you, mate? And I'm getting hungry. Not in real life, I'm getting hungry in the game, even though I still haven't eaten. Here we go. Please. Destination floor, yay! Right. Okay, yes, let's leave. <laughs> Don't care about the lightning gummy or yellow gummy, whatever you want to call it. I'm out of here. Right. 3,000, nice. Okay. Anything new in the situation? Another moon. Say, so go. I wonder how Azov is and his friends are doing. I mean, maybe they're fighting Grovo? No, I just can't sleep when I'm thinking about that. If you stop to think, this is all so very strange, is it? I mean, Pokemon from the future. Something that extraordinary is really possible? That's true. 
hard to accept that Pokemon could come from the future. Come to think of it, this never crossed my mind before. The world of the future where Dustin Noir and Gorel came from. What is it like? Is the future, future like the present day? Is it a world of peace? Ooh, it's another early day tomorrow. I better force myself to sleep. I'm going to sleep, each go. Sweet dreams. Tomorrow, let's do our best. Good night. Right. Morning, yay. Right. Yeah, let's continue. <laughs> No, oh, a siren. Deputy Magnemite is here. Alright, it's a message. We're pleased to deliver this report. Goval has finally been captured. Oh, -ho, at last. My gosh, Groval's been caught. Oh my gosh, you did it. Yippee. There's more. Groval was captured by the Great Dust Noir. He's informed us that he will return to the future with Groval. Dust Noir is. Going home? Going back to the future? How do you go back? I do not claim to understand the process, but I have heard they will be going through a tunnel. He called it a dimensional hole. He opened a dimensional hole in the town's main square, I am told. I dropped my phone. What a f fucking clumsy prat I am. Dustin told us that he wishes to say goodbye before he leaves. Therefore, he hopes that you will come to see him for the last time in Church Town Square. Hey, hey, well, what are we doing here? Let's hurry, we have to go to Treasure Town. There one's already here. Hey, hey, I don't see the gray stuff anywhere around yet. What's that? This, that, is a dimensional hole. Dimensional hole. Oh, what Magnemite was trying to explain earlier. Golly, this is it? That's something. Step inside this here will take you to the future. Watch out. Stay clear. The edges you touch you will be sent to the future. Please be extremely careful. Oof. What do you do here? You're a little too curious for your taste. Oh, oops. Nesprit, and as Elf to you. Perfect. You're safe, I'm glad to see that. Naturally. But did you plan to succeed? Yep, I have to hand it to the Great Testimon, it was flawless. The law has been captured. I regained all the time you stole. Yes, I'm so glad. Just know I should be along shortly. Oh, who's that? It's today's Great Dustnoir. <laughs> Sable eyes? Hmm. Interesting. Why are there Sable eyes, though? This is the first time I'm seeing them. Hey, everyone. Today I would like to share excellent news with you. Finally, Gorval has been captured. This is all made possible by your selfless support and cover operation. I can't thank you enough. As you can see, Groval is a vicious and wicked Pokemon. This capture should result in less and peace for your world. Mm -hmm. Looks like they have Groval muscled. Can't say a word that way. But... I must also deliver a sad piece of news. It's time for me to return to the future. Everyone, I must now bid you farewell. Oh, so that was true. I'm feeling the blues. There was so much I wanted to learn from you, Yup Yup. See, Mesprit, Azelf, I trust you with the rest. Yup, we know. Got the time years back. We will make sure they're returned to the rightful places. The task is yours. Thank you very much for everything. They've literally saved us all. Oh no no. It's most kind and helpful. I hope you will continue to work to preserve the beats. Yes, you can depend on that. Now, 
afraid the time has come. Everyone, though it pains me, Wookie okay. hates that goodbyes. Uh, uh. Oh yes, before I go, I must see two Pokemon, Reverend and Ichigo. So yes, let's go up there. So this is really goodbye, that's Snore Sir, for everything you've done. Thank you sin sincerely. Well, this is goodbye. Or is it? Pardon? Oh, it's too soon for farewells. Wow. You two are coming with me. Wow. By gosh. Reverend and Ichigo. But what? What just happened? I don't know, man. Oh, look at that. Okay, let us save. I'm guessing that's it for the chapter. It is. Hold on. Alright. My tummy is filled. Got me some surplus soda, that being Mountain Dew. Let us continue. Chapter 14, Enter the Future. Uh, where is this? I was dragged can't losing consciousness consciousness again oh uh. <laughs> shit okay ah uh. where am i where the fuck is any of this Uh, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting, Master Dialga. While I encountered more difficulty than expected, I finally succeeded. And to capture, yes. I fully understand what must be done. Those who seek to alter the course of history must be removed from history. I shall see to the elimination immediately. I understand. As you wish. I take my leave. So he fucking glows, and that's how he communicates, I'm guessing. Hey. Ichigo. Wake up, Ichigo. Hmm. Where? You're awake. This place, I think it's a jail. Oh, you think? I just woke up a while ago, so I'm not sure what's going on. Try locking the doors, but they're locked. There seems to be no other way out. I think that we've been locked up. Ugh. What's going on? We're locked up? I don't know what's going on either, but I may as well investigate. Hmm. Yeah. Definitely use a jail cell. That's the doors fail to open. What a shame. No good, like Dorian said, these doors won't open. It looks like we've been locked up. How did we end up this way? I think what happened was, the snore grabbed us, and he dragged us into the dimensional hole. Nanny? Wait, so this is maybe... this? The future? But that... I can't believe this. I mean, this is the future? Why are we even here? Uh, but the whole room and this whole room is built in a way unlike anything I've ever seen. That I have time to think. Maybe this is actually the future. Wow, uh, are we really in the future? Uh, now what are we supposed to do? I don't know. So if this place is the future, we're we supposed to get back to our world. Oh, more sable eye. You're awake. How convenient. Alright, we'll do this quickly. Do this quick, we'll do what? It's around us. Ah, they blindfold me. Can't see his thing. With us. Ow, oh, I don't push. Ah, it's 
delightful mix and impossible to tell where I'm going. Where are they taking us? Dirt, we're here. What? Where is this? They have me trussed up. I can't move. What? Why is this happening? Uh, Reverend. Am I glad to see you? You're okay, right? Hmm. Clues about... You're clues about what's going to happen. I guess you can afford to be nonchalant about it. Pardon? This came from over there. Oh, yes, Groval. You two. Do you have any inkling about where you are? No? This is a stockade. You're preparing to get, uh, get rid of us for good. Nanny? Get, get rid of us? Wait a second. I understand why they want to get rid of you, Groval. Why us? You haven't done anything wrong. Hm. Couldn't care less. Must have done something they can't tolerate. Nanny? I haven't done anything bad. I don't think we're like you. I don't care. You're wasting time losing your cool. Meanwhile, look. Here they come. Wha who are they? They're the trailers who do all the dirty work around here. They also happen to be Dusk Noir's underlings. Nanny? The great Dusk Noirs? Oh yes, who would have known the spooky ghost would betray us? Yeah, it's Dusk Noir. My lord, three have been tied to the stakes. Good. Dusk Noir, sir. It's me, Reverend. Very well, save the light. Those three. We need to be rid of them. Nani? Hey, no, no, he. You may get ready. <laughs> but wait a minute, this more, sir. What's happened to you? Why are you doing this to us? Always breath. Instead, shh. Keep your voices down so we they can hear you. Keep my voice down. You too. To get away. Give me your full cooperation. I can help you, Kova. There's no time to think. Or would you prefer to stick around for them? Hey, you. Tell me. What do you think you can do right now? What? What can I do? Guess me out of nowhere. What do you do? Ah. Uh, he's a move? Not good. We'll try to stop so we can't move. There's be something you can do with something useful. It doesn't need to be flash. Can you do anything more basic? No, you're not helping. Uh, I guess we I... No, and I. What the fuck? And I'm so good. We're tied up. And I need to move. There's something you can do. Oh, okay. Attack? Struggle? That's it. That'll do. If it's just a regular attack, I can help too. Good. Then we are ready to begin. Very well. But be vigilant to the end. Don't take your eyes off them. Especially that mobile. Coming. Listen carefully. See, well, I use claws to strike. Yikes, that sounds scary. And that might just open one avenue for escape. Sableye will unleash their fierce webs in a frenzy. It's our chance. If even one of their attacks were hit to both find us. Alright. Ropes might come loose. Exactly. And if that happens, last show with an attack, no flee. But what if their fear swipes on some don't slash the ropes? What if they constantly miss like me? And what if what if the Sable Light don't use fear swipes at all? <laughs> well, yeah. that happens. Don't even think about it. Yeah, endure it. Wait for your chance. 
going. We'll be done before our chance comes. Hey. Now, attack. Go. Hey. But what is this? There. I can't see. Compose yourselves. It's only a luminous orb. It wears off quickly. Lost it. That Grovile. He fled using the flash from that Luminous Orb as cover. They won't get away with this. Come. Wehehe. <laughs> Hehe. Oh, they fucking dug themselves? Okay. Blech, I got dirt in my mouth. We're, we're safe. So Grovile can use dig. He sure knows many moves. Oh, that's great. But we're not out of the woods yet. Get out of here fucking fast. Okay. So I'll save myself. Come on, this way. We need to keep running until we hit the exit. Come on, faster, pick it up. I'm running as fast as I can. Don't order me around. Anyway, Grovile. What? Is this the future? Yeah, that's right. Ah, you catch on fast. Though it is, after all. Are we going to be able to go back to our world? Who knows? We just need to get away from now. If we get caught, returning home will be the last of your worries. Run faster. I can't. I'm exhausted. Ugh. We're almost there. Look. The exit's right there. Ugh. We did it. We're outside. Whoa, wait. What is this? I'd like to know myself. This is our world? In the future. These boulders are floating. This is a really strange place. It's horribly dark. Maybe when the wind blows. It's as if all movement. It's as if everything stopped. Exactly. Pardon? Wait, hey. hey. But I can hear the Sibylai. And keep running. Mm -hmm. Hey, Grova. The tired. There's no time to rest. Or to catch us, we're done. To put out and run. See for you to say. Can't. Have to rest. Alright. Oh, hey! It's those King of Scone statues. <sighs> this forms a natural alcove. Alco. This should shield us from the beam. After a quick rest, we'll have to get moving again. Wait a minute. When we escaped from the stockade, we cooperated with you because we had to. But we never promised we'd go, go with you afterward. With a Pokemon like you, we can't trust you. Reverend. Hmm. Oh, I'm the bad guy. That Dust Noir is the good guy? Then how about explaining Dust Noir's actions earlier? Just, it wasn't just me. The one you got, too. Hmm. But, it doesn't mean I can trust you, Grovile. Learning a trust isn't as an easy task, it seems. I thought having allies would help, but... There's no point in continuing together without trust. We'll go our separate ways. I'm staying on the move. You should... You two should get moving as soon as possible. Good luck. Wait a second. You say to leave soon, but it's dark out now. Start seeing where we're going. Instead of staying on the move right now, should we wait for morning? Would it be better to leave when it gets lights out? That is impossible. I'd say it, but... Morning ever comes. Nani? This world, your future. It's a world of perpetual darkness. 
The sun never rises, so morning never comes. The darkness persists forever. But why? Because the planet has been paralyzed. The planet is paralyzed? The planet's paralysis. The planet's paralysis? That's right, I can remember now. Just Norris described the planet's paralysis before. Paralysis. It's true that this place dis appears just as Snor described it. But even then, it's hard to understand how the planet has been paralyzed in the future. You're free to, be to believe or reject what I'm telling you. Either way, why is that? Nah, whatever. I'm going. Don't let those sable like catch you. Bye, Dad. Ah, here you go. Oh no, I don't know what to think anymore. Wasn't the planet's paralysis supposed to be caused by all those time gears go going missing? That's why we all tr tried to stop Grove from stealing the time gears. We did everything we were supposed to, right? Which the others said they returned the time gears to the rightful places. That should have prevented the planet's paralysis. But despite our efforts. Why is the planet still paralyzed? In our future. Ugh. I don't know who or what to believe anymore. <laughs> what a sable eye. Can't stay here, Ichigo. Get ready quickly so we can get moving again. Okay. Well. Uh. There's gonna be another dungeon then. Uh, let's try the storage, I guess. Why do we have a stick? I don't want that. Alright. Um... Hold on. Okay. Um... I guess before we go, let's have a little taste of what's gonna be coming up. That's all set. Hey, Jack! Hey. Yeah, for some reason, Jack is scared of... Uh, the machine dryer. I know it makes a scratching noise, but I'm guessing Jack doesn't like it in general. It's all high pitch as well. Yeah, it doesn't help. Anyways. Wow. Oh my god, holy shit. Oh, somebody missed. Holy shit. Apple? I'll take that. That they don't have my friends in me. Yeah, this sucks. Exit. I'm not going down there. She has a cave to call it. Oh my god. Crossways in the drip room. Oh, oh, how the hell do you miss? 69, what number? Whoa! Drift looms can explode. Okay. What a fucking bitch. Wait, no, that's a Sky Marine. It's steel. Oh, yes. There's no wall, so, yep. Hit him. He came from the fucking void. <laughs> Nothing. I'm guessing this is a one-time cave as well, and that I can't make rats. Okay. 
Alright, so that's a little taste of Chaz and Cave, I think that's what they called it. So, yeah. That's all well and good. That's it, I'm ending it out here. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like for this episode, and I shall see you in the episode you watch next. Is Jeremy. Peace out.